could be looking at two new drivers. So if you could send me a selection, smash in top. Five zero zero zero, right there on the debits. That's five grand. So it is. Yeah. There's the check number. Here is the checkbook. I didn't sign it. So unless Carl has done it from beyond the grave, it has to be you. Can we deal with this later? We deal with this now. What was it for, please, Jimmy? <sighs> Chastity had a few bills. Well, nice try, but there's only so much shopping a girl can do when she's banged up. Legal bills. <gasps> this had better be a wind-up. She can't afford them. And we can! So hang on, let me get this straight. You just handed over a pile of cash to her without so much as asking me. Because you were bound to say yes. Jimmy, I think your memory must have gone again. Because there's no other reason in my book why you would bail out your brother's murderer. She's all on her own. And why is that? Somebody had to help her since her own family don't give a damn. Don't even go there. I'll go where I like. I'll do what I like. And if that means taking 5,000 quid out of my own company, I'll do that. Our company, our cash. And you thought I was so hands-off I wouldn't even notice a great big hole in our account. And the prize for supersized hypocrite goes to... the scams you've pulled. The amount of other people's money that's passed through your hands. And you begrudge me 5,000 quid. If it's for that two-faced murdering cow, yeah, I would begrudge you every single penny. Five grand, that was a lot, was it? And I've said all I have to say. And you believe her, all the lies that she spat about how Carl made her do it? I do, as it happens. Yeah, you're probably saying that Carl made her get off with Cameron and all. She's never said that, no. Well, it doesn't look good. You funding his killer's defence. I've nothing to hide. You sure Nicola will see it like that? Oh. As if. Me and Chaz. Hey, she's got good form in the geek department. Paddy, Dan. With family like you, no wonder she's flaming lost. With you bankrolling her legal team, are you trying to kid? There is no legal team. Not anymore. Might not even be a defence. You're kidding? She's given up because you lot are my brother and everyone in her life who's ever told her she's rubbish have worn her down. Go on. She doesn't want to fight anymore. She's going to plead guilty. Result! The upside is there's still time for her to change her mind. You wouldn't dare. I've got enough on the conscience without Chaz. You don't know her like I do, Jimmy. She is a lying, scheming cow. Coming from you, that's a compliment. I'll give you your love when I see her, shall I? You even try pulling a stunt like that and I tell you, you'll regret it. I'll regret it a lot more if I don't. Hey, uh, it's, it's me. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to speak to the boys, don't I? Thanks. Hey, mate. How are you? <laughs> Pound of two for you joking, but well, do you know what? I think you better ask the tooth fairy. In fact, do you know what? Ask your mother. <laughs> Listen, mate, I've, I've, I've got to go away for a little while. I might not see you for a little while. No, 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 abroad. Yeah, 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 for work. Listen, but I'll call you whenever I can, all right? I'm going to call you whenever I can. All right, mate, listen, no, no, I love you both very much. All right, mate, I've got to go now, all right? OK, mate, love you, bye, love you, bye, love you. Just over there. Mr. Murray, you have some information for me. About Culkin. We've already spoken at length. There's something else. Something new. Oh, well, we better come through. You said you had new information. I'm really going to have to press you. I don't have all afternoon. Chaz, she can't have killed him. 
were any new evidence to support this? No, apart from the fact that Mrs. Spence happens to be a girlfriend. He was twice her size. Oh, uh, well, if I could put that to the CPS, then uh, half the murderers have helped to convict would be released tomorrow. She didn't do it. We've got a signed confession. Well, maybe. I mean, maybe she's confused, you know, maybe she thinks she did it, but she didn't. She's admitted she dealt the blow that killed him. Carl King had it coming. What if she hit him, but then someone else, someone found him? She didn't know that. I know she didn't know that. Well, I'll give you this, you stuck up for her. But it's up to a jury to decide now. If you ever get the urge to waste any more of my time, I'll charge you. Jimmy, I am warning you, get your backside back here before you repeat it, all right? What's he done? Yes, we will talk later. Um, I'm desperate for a nappy. Oh, yeah, there you go, help yourself. The stomach's exploded. It's gone through three in an hour. It's definitely something Jenny ate. Okay, that is too much information when I'm down in a cream cake, all right? What has Jimmy done? Nothing I can't handle. Thanks. I owe you one. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the office. What? Whoa! Whoa, 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 you said you'd come on the walk with us. Well, something's come up. And to be fair, he's got plenty of time on his hands, like you. So, you could, in fact, go together. Yeah, yeah, that, that'd be great. Could do with a bit of that old company. But you'll settle for our Debs, yeah? I'll just sort Molly out and then we can go. Well, I don't want to be lumbered with him all afternoon. Well, it's better than being lumbered with me all afternoon, isn't it? So you just enjoy yourself and I'll call you. Scar inect yesterday, but the food's not up to much, so I've um, I've lost a couple of pounds. Every cloud. You gave him money for the lawyers. That's right. I don't deserve it. I think you do. I killed your brother. I knew he could be dangerous. I knew he were obsessed with you. If I'd have done something about it, you wouldn't be sat there. I'm so, so sorry, Jimmy. He may be gone, but I'm not going to let him drag you down with him. Looks like you needed that. How's it going? Yeah, terrific. Because I mean, a man's dead and the woman I love's getting sent down for killing him. But well, not your fault, is it? I never understood irony until now. It wasn't meant to be a joke. I ain't laughing. Look, I know it's tough. I know how much you think about Chaz. But you're stuffed now until it goes to court and you've done all you can. Right, and that's it, is it? Well, yeah, but you've got to stop beating yourself up. It's out of your hands now. It wasn't, but it is now. Feel good, does it? Peeing my hard-earned cash down the drain? Even if I knew what he was on about, I still wouldn't give a stop. You're trying to tell me you don't know that I am funding your girlfriend's defence? Well, someone's had to. Oh, I will have you for this. Yeah, and Kane will tear me limb from limb and feed me to Debbie. Well, lucky for me, you lot are all mad. You know, if it was up to me, you'd be planted right next to Carl by now. <laughs> well, it's a good job it's not. Only a matter of time. Then we'll have got rid of the pair of you. No matter how much of my bank account you want to chuck at her, she's still going down. You can hire the best lawyer on this planet. There is no defence if she pleads guilty. There's still time. I can get her to change her mind. Yeah, that's what your little mate Jimmy's trying to do as we speak. Good job she's had the sense to work out she's a lost cause. About time you did, yeah? She'll see him, but she won't see me. Well, come on. Let's get you another drink. Stuff, that. Stuff you. I was so desperate. I told him that I'd leave with him. I promised that we'd run away together. Where to? I didn't even ask, but he bought the tickets. 
They were for you. He wanted us to make a go of it somewhere fresh. And you'd have got with him? Maybe I should have. Somewhere, somehow, I'd have managed to get away from him. I'd have given him the slip. Let him use you, don't be daft. Well, if I had, then Debbie would still have Cameron. I would still have a family that loved me, and Carl would still be alive. Don't. But, like an idiot, I thought I'd make a stand. I should have known what happens to people who do that. Starting with your dad. You knew. He told me that night. But you knew, didn't you? And you still covered his back. I should have known that he always gets what he wants or dies trying. Well, with me, he got both. So thank you for the cash. But I won't be needing a defence, not anymore. You can't give up, Chaz. You've got to put your side of the story. Tell him what he did to you. What kind of a man he was. What you did to him. You had no choice. I picked up a brick and killed him. Only because he drove you to it. You've got to plead not guilty. I'll stand up in court. I'll say anything I can to help you. But you've got to change your mind. And fast. Please, Chaz. Don't let him do this to you. You've got to fight to get your life back up. He's won. As soon as I can. Bye. I know you've been here. Tell me. I did what I could. I tried. I really tried. Oh. Well, what did she say? She said plenty, and so did I. The only thing she didn't say was what she was going to do. But she's not going to change her mind. If she doesn't want to fight, we can't make her. And she hasn't got forever. If she changes her plea, they'll put her in a high-security prison for life. Nothing we can do about it. <laughs>